Hello there, thanks for visiting. Geometrical figures, this is a test for similar triangles. This is the third test for similar triangles we're looking at. It's test three, AAA. To test for similar triangles, we can apply one of four tests. We've had a look at a video on SSS, on the SAS test. This one's on AAA, and we can, we'll have another video on RHS for testing for similar triangles. This one states that if two triangles of one, uh, sorry, two angles of one triangle are equal to two angles of another triangle, the triangles are similar. Now I know we're saying the uh, the test as AAA. I'll uh, explain at the end here where what whereby actually technically we only need two angles to be in the, uh, the to, to be equal to each other to make similar triangles. But we're going to call it AAA anyway, just so it uh, so it's got three letters like the other tests. But I'll explain all that with an example here. We're asked to prove that triangle EFG is similar to triangle BCD. Now let's make a few angle statements. It's clear that we need to piece together angle information according to the letters there of the test. And we've got certainly got information indicated to us of equal angles between these two triangles because if they if an angle has the same symbol in it, we can trust that um, those angles are equal to each other. We can see that we've got a black dot here those angles are indicated to be equal to each other. We've also got um, a, an open circle in two spots, so they're supposed to be equal to each other, and we've got an X in two spots as well. So those two triangles, are, those two angles are supposed to be equal to each other according to the diagram. We can trust the markings that are given there. So let's make a couple of statements angles wise. Let's name those angles EFG. E FG, so we're talking about the cross here, is supposed to be equal to BCD. BCD, notice I'm namely naming the angles with the vertex letter in the center of the name. Okay, so that's given to us with the cross uh, symbol marking on the, on the triangles. It's given to us and that's certainly an angle statement. Let's see another angle statement we could make. We've processed the cross now. This one's FGE. F G E, so we're talking about the open circle here. That's supposed that, that's where we're wanting to record that that's equal to C D B. C D B. That's the open circle again. That was given to us by having the same marking on the diagram, and that's another angle statement. Okay, now a third angle statement. If we wanted to be totally thorough, um, technically not necessary, but we'll do it anyway. G E F. G E F is our dark dot, our black dot, and that's equal to D B C D B C. That's that one there. That's given to us in the diagram once again. That's a third angle statement. So we're clearly passing the angle 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 um, test for similar triangles here. So we just need to make our concluding statement. Triangle E F G is similar to triangle BCD because it's passed the AAA test. Now the reason why I, I did say I'd come back and talk about uh, how many A's we actually need for this test, we technically only need two. Some textbooks call it the AA test for similar triangles, I call it three of them, because technically if you had uh, just these, f these first two, indicating that uh, these angles are the same size as each other, then we would have enough to have two out of the three uh, angles involved. We would have the X angle that we identified in the first line there, that, that was our X angle. FGE, FGE, that was our open circle. We've said that those two are the same size as each other and those two are the same size as each other. Now the reason why uh, that's enough to pass the test for similar triangles that uses equal angles here is because you know that the angle sum of a triangle is 180 degrees and if we've indicated that two out of the three angles are the same size as each other guess what if we took away those two side if those two size angles from 180 degrees in each case we would get that third angle so two out of the three is enough to piece together that along with the angle sum of a triangle rule but that's only a technicality really. If you listed this uh, that we have done, like we've done the three uh, angle statements there, you don't even have to use that uh, angle sum rule to uh, round off your conclusion here. So I just wanted to go through that technicality there. If you, um, if you list all the angle statements you've got there and you have three of them given to you in the diagram or at least you can conclude three of them, 
uh, by using geometrical rules, you have enough to pass the AAA test for similar triangles. So we're listing enough information to pass that test and let's re just recap to remind us the AAA test is if two angles of one triangle are equal to two angles of another uh, then the triangles are similar because in similar triangles matching angles are equal aren't they? So that's the third test for similar triangles AAA. PeterBlakeMath.com